All right, so today I wanna to kind of show you guys some old school drafting methods here uh, as we go through some architectural drawing uh, for a floor plan, and this will give you guys some ideas of what to do and how what my expectations are out of your guys' floor plans when you draw it. So old school, uh, we're laying out and taping our table paper down to the actual table. Notice I got my T-square here and I've lined it up so that I can be perfectly uh, square with the paper. Now I'm going to use this scale here and put the two and we're going to first start out drawing our border line. So I'm just going to make a one inch mark because I want a one inch border around this whole entire sheet of paper. So I'm just making a one inch mark so that we can get this through. Okay, so we've got that. I come back down here and we're gonna draw this border on here. Again, I'm leaving one inch, so I'm not crossing over, so I'm gonna start at one inch and go all the way over to one inch to draw that first border line. So I got that border line there. I'm gonna come back up here at one inch. We're gonna do the same thing. So. Coming one inch over, and we're gonna draw the line all the way over to one inch. Brody, do you recall and remember doing this last year? So, we're gonna put this over here now. Uh, watch your foot there for just a second, Dario. We go the opposite corner with this T-square, and now I can come right down here, and we'll slide this over, and again, now I've got my borderline. You don't recall doing this? Yeah. Okay. We're also going to do the same thing here now. Another inch. This is going to be a title block. We'll talk more about that title block here um, in a few minutes. And we're just going to go from one side of the borderline over to the other side of the borderline with our title block. Okay. Now, we're gonna talk about, and we need to draw a scale building. So let's say that your floor plan in your house is just a rectangular shape. And that shape measures uh, 30 feet by 60 feet. And we're gonna put a scale down here, uh, one quarter inch equals one foot. That means that for every quarter of an inch that we're gonna draw on the paper, it's gonna represent one foot in real life. So I've got to make a 30 foot by 60 foot rectangle scaled down on this sheet of paper. How do I do it? What do I need to do using my one quarter inch equals one foot scale? What do I wanna do to the 30 feet and the 60 feet? What am I going to divide them by? Four. Yeah, so I'm going to divide both of those by four. So, 30 divided by four, anybody do that in their head? Sorry, you said 30 divided by four. Yeah, 30 divided by four. Well, that's a decimal. Number. Yeah, well, yeah, it will be. So, and then we're going to have to convert that to a fraction. So, we're. Really? So, 30 divided by four is. Seven, seven point five, which is the same as seven and a half inches, and the sixty feet divided by four. Fifteen. So is fifteen inches. So so to scale this, then we're going to come back in here and we're going to draw a fifteen inch line by a seven and a half inch line, and that's really going to represent our rectangular floor plan. So. And I want this to be centered on the page. So here, I'm 22 inches. I'm gonna subtract 15 inches because I want it to be equal distant on both sides. I want this floor plan to be centered in this paper. So 22 minus 15 is what? Seven. Seven. I want equal amounts on both sides. So seven divided by two is? Seven divided by two is? Three and a half. So I'm gonna go and start three and a half or 3.5 is the same as three and a half over here. Now let's do the same thing here in our Y dimension. I'm at roughly 15 minus seven and a half is, so 
I got 15 inches here and I'm subtracting the seven and a half so I can have this centered. What's 15 minus seven and a half? Seven and a half. Now I divide seven and a half by two is gonna leave me with three and three quarters. So here I'm gonna come down and mark three and three quarter from the top. That gives me my rough uh, places and I can of course do three and three quarter from the bottom here depending on whether I want to stop from start from the top or start from the bottom. Alright, so again now we were making a 15 inch line here so we'll get this squared in starting over here at one and we're drawing that 15 inch line going all the way over to there. So now switching our T square around, gonna do the same thing, only now we're gonna be a seven and a half inch line at both ends. So seven and a half. Slide this on down this way. And we're gonna get to seven and a half here. Going all the way back up to there. And then we can come back and just connect these corners. All right, now, so that gives me the scaled relationship between uh, 30 feet by 60 foot area is now scaled down to our seven and a half inch by 15 inch. It's a scaled drawing where we've taken the exact measurements to represent the real life object. I'm gonna come back in here. We're gonna draw these outside walls here. We want to keep these the same distance. So you also want to probably take and measure off, you know, an eighth of an inch for your walls here. And we'll connect these. So these are our exterior walls. All right. From that point, then you're going to start to fill in the interior. So you guys have taken measurements of the inside of your house, or you should be taking inside measurements so you can get your room spacing and put your room down to start to fill that out. This is the basis. This is where you start. We'll talk a little bit more about what I want you guys to put in the title block as we go. Um, but this gives you a rough idea of where we're going. Make sure that you're neat as you're doing this. You don't necessarily have to use the T-square. Um, but definitely be using and taking some measurements with the 24-inch uh, scale rules as you go. All right, let's get to work.